Storing your documents in a folder structure may not always be optimal. Recently in a sales meeting, I was looking for a spreadsheet that I had created for my team that described different software tools and how they were categorized and kind of compared the tools that we sold against some competitors' tools. I wanted to find this spreadsheet, but I didn't remember what I named it. I didn't remember the date I stored it, and I didn't remember where I saved it. So what I did is I pulled up our document management system, DocuWare, and this is an example of storing not by folder, but by index field. Now, this is a lot of index fields and not every file cabinet has this many, but you can think of these like tags. They're ways to describe a document. But unlike, let's say, social media where you click on a hashtag and it shows you everything with the hashtag, we can actually filter by multiple index fields at a time. So I could search for all documents created by David Scott, but that would be a lot of documents, right? So I want to refine it further. So I knew that it was a spreadsheet. And so I was able to at least put in the document type and that narrowed it down further, but I couldn't remember what I named it. However, I knew that the word laser fish, which is an ECM product was in that document. And so by typing in that into the full text search, even though it's not in the document name or anything, I was able to pull this document up. And DocuWare actually was, uh, because it had indexed the word laserfiche, it found this document. So you can see how describing the document by a number of different ways allows me to search in whatever way I can remember. I don't necessarily have to remember the name or the folder that it went into. What we'll do a lot of times is automate the capture of these index fields to make it even easier to describe the document. The other issue with folder structures is that different team members might have a different way of setting up that structure. Some might do it by year and then by client name and then by document type. Others may do it in a different way. And so if you're actually looking for a document somebody else saved, you might have a hard time figuring out their structure and their thought process. Whereas index fields are standard. The file owner, the storage date, the document type, those things are fixed and can be chosen from a dropdown. So they're a little bit easier to find. If you've made the switch from a folder structure to an enterprise content management system that uses index fields, let me know how the transition was for you and whether or not you find it easier now. I'd love to hear your comments.